Do you feel that Muslims have a special responsibility to explain their religion? Uh, see, if, if you were to look at it from one side and turn around and say, listen, you, you better know my religion. I, I think that's not fair. I think we need to. I think that not only do they need to explain their religion, they need to understand other religions also. Um, and it's a two-way process. Uh, just because somebody doesn't understand, of course they will take it wrongly or react to it wrongly. And I think it's the duty of every educated, uh, maybe a little liberal uh, Muslim to go out in the world. And if he has the opportunity, like I think I have uh, as an actor, I think we need to make sure that, yes, this is what it stands for, this is what jihad means, this is what tolerance means, and this is what Islam means. And whatever little knowledge I have, I'm not fully knowledgeable, so I find out and try to promote that and tell people. And if you understand it, maybe you'll say, actually, no, it's exactly like how our discipline is. So I think, yeah, it's, I, I think it's, a, it's a reason uh, for every Muslim to think about. You know, uh, when, when uh, George Bush uh, saw Manmohan Singh at uh, some event, first time he had an opportunity to introduce his wife, Laura Bush, to Manmohan Singh, he said to her, uh, honey, this is the Prime Minister of India. This is a country that has 150 million Muslims and not one member of Al-Qaeda. Yeah. Uh, that was the way he thought of uh, Indian Muslims. Uh, why do you think Indian Muslims are not so radicalized? When I mean, you look, think about Pakistan, Afghanistan, uh, you know, there are so, so much uh, jihad and terrorism in the area, but Indian Muslims have not succumbed as much. This is the second largest Muslim population in the world by some counts. Um, what is there a secret? I think the secret uh, lies within the way Indians are. We as people are uh, uh, more compromising and understanding. We do give a chance uh, to everyone to say their point of view, listen to it, and not react radically. Of course, there will be sections which do it, and that permeates to the Muslims, to the Hindus, to the Christians, mm -hmm. to every uh, um, you know section in our society. I would like to believe it's like that, but I think that's the main reason. I think Indians by nature. Uh, like people and they're compromising and they're understanding is, is what I'd like to believe really.